Hey there, good looking. Hey, you ready for a total body TRX workout? Well then, that's fantastic. You've come to the right place. Let's go. Hello there. Hey, welcome. I'm PJ from fitnesswithpj.com and today is all about the TRX, baby cakes. So we've got, what do we got? 12 exercises, three rounds. We're going to be working everything, the arms, the core, the legs. You're going to love it. So start your TRX at mid-length, please. We're just going to get a basic warm-up in and then away we go. So let's do some big arm circles, get the shoulders warmed up. Hey, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Where the hell you been? <laughs> Make sure you subscribe before you leave. You'll be the first to know when I drop some new workouts. All right, let's open and close those arms now, getting the chest and upper back ready. Position those feet for me right underneath the hips. We're going to get set up for our squat pattern in three, two, one. All right, arms out, push the bum back. Now lift up off your heels. Do it again. Good. When we squat, our knees are tracking straight ahead. Our booty is going back. Good. Our chest is lifted. And we have a smile on our face. Because why? Because we can squat. Yes, okay. There are some people out there that can't, and they would love to. So we are going to embrace the fact that we can move our body. Here we go. Four more. Three. Two. One more. One. All right. Feet together. Just your right leg for me, okay? We're going to step it back into a lunge while we reach the arms up. Elbows beside the ears. Thumbs go back. Feet together. Same leg. Good. Front knee lines up with the ankle. Give me a good stride behind. We want to warm up and dynamically whoop, lengthen that hip flexor and quad. I'm already breathing hard. What the hell? <laughs> Not even done the warm up, PJ. Get with it. Last three. Two. One more. One. Other side. Here we go. Reach it. Good. Bend that back knee. Oh, it feels good, right? Yeah. That dynamic lengthening of that hip. Whew. A lot of people have tight hips. Plays havoc, low back, knees even. Last three. Two. One more. One. Excellent. Okay, so straps at mid length. Starting with the back of the hand pressing against our foot straps. Thumbs are outside of it. Lining ourselves up to the center of our TRX anchor. Okay? Now we're locking out the arms. And what we're doing here is using our shoulders and our upper back to pull the arms back. We're not leaning back. I see that a lot in my class and I coach them out of it. Unfortunately, I can't see what you're doing. So I want you to be aware of that, okay? Feet are hip width apart. We're using the back muscles with the head up so as we squat down, okay? So back muscles, 30 seconds. Deal? Deal. Here we go. Arms up. Chest up, look up, bend the knees, bum back. Woo, that's a lot of commands in 10 seconds there. So this is a leg exercise, yes, but it's actually a posture exercise, okay? We'll get further into the legs on our secondary move when we've got a one-legged squat coming up. Good, press against those straps, keep those arms up. This is really good if you got tight shoulders. We're gonna work that tightness out. Time. All right, hold on the each strap now on the handle part. All right, extend the left leg in front. Drop the bum all the way down or as low as you can. Come up, switch legs. Good. So here's the scoop on a one legged squat. If you can't come up, drop that leg in front to help kickstand you back up or just go down to what's comfortable. Okay? Stay on the heel, however. So we've got these two moves, three rounds. Use your straps to help you up a bit, but don't use them so much that you're not using the legs. Shoulders are back and down, not rounding that back. One more. Time. All right, here we go. Press the backs of the hands against the foot straps. Thumbs are on the outside, arms in a V position. Look up, press the bum back. Use those back muscles to pull the arms back, which then keep the straps tight. I got some slack in mine. I got to work on this one. Eyes on the anchor. One legged squats coming up. Time. 
time. All right, holding on to the handles now. Extend that left leg in front, okay? Bum goes as low as you can, okay? Totally up to you where you are right now. Drop down, come up. Now on this one, be aware that we're not rounding the upper back to reach the straps. So when you start, you want those elbows underneath the shoulders. I should have set you up on that before we even began. My bad. Bad trainer. Bad. Okay, we got one more of each of these, then we're moving on. Time. Whew. All right, here we go. Arms up. Press those shoulders down. Press the hands back. Go. Squeeze the booty on that top part. Going through a full hip extension here. Whew. Whoa, feeling that upper back, huh? Burn, baby, burn. Whew. Time. All right. Grab onto the handles. Extend a leg in front. Elbows under the shoulders for setup. Here we go. Drop the bucket. Drive up. Do it again. Alternating. Good. Now we're going to flow right into the next move, okay? Because I know we can, okay? We're going to use one strap only. Oh, yeah. Stay on that heel. Time. Okay, let go of a strap. Now, grab onto the handle with the left hand. Feet apart. Good. Other hand on the hip. From this position, drive yourself up. One arm row. When we pull up, we squeeze the shoulder blade. When we extend, we keep that shoulder back and down. We're not rounding. Closer to the TRX you are, the harder it is. Good. Hips are squared. Keeping that core engaged. Turn it around for a lunge after this. We're going to put the left foot in the ankle in the foot strap. Now, if you're not comfortable with that, you'll just put your left leg back for a stationary lunge. Okay? So, left foot in the stra foot strap. Come forward. Here we go. Drop down, extend back. Good. So, again, if you're not comfortable with being in the straps with your feet, then just keep that left leg behind you and do a lunge. Excellent. Now, extend the arms. Good. One hand on top of the other. Excellent. Now, press one arm up and the other one down. Yeah. Now we're working. Almost done round one. Going back to that left arm row. Coming up. Time. Okay. Left arm, baby. Remember, hips squared. You want to be squared to your anchor. And drive up. Good. Keep the shoulder out of the ear, my friend. So all three rounds on the left side. And then guess what we're doing? <laughs> yeah, I know. You're smart. <laughs> right side. <sighs> Time. Okay, so you're either in a left leg back stationary lunge or left foot in that foot strap. Okay. Extend the arms. One arm's going up. The other one's going down. Lunge. Good. Now this is no doubt going to challenge your balance. So I want you to fix your focus on something stationary. Bend that front knee. Press that back foot in the strap. That's where I see a lot of people go wrong. They try to load everything up on that front leg. No, 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 no. Put some weight in that back strap. Time. All right, last set. Whew. All right, where's our anchor? Perfect, we're squared to it. Now drive up. Maybe you can go a little closer to the wall, to your anchor. Make it a little harder. Yep, 
Yeah, we have ours anchored on a wall. You're not going to see that normally. It's not the most ideal placement for your TRX, but it works. Hopefully you got yours just free hanging somewhere in your garage or something. Time. All right. Last set. Here we go. Left leg in your strap. Again, if you're uncomfortable, just give me a regular lunge. Always options for you. Arms up, though, no matter what lunge you do. And go. Good. Press that back, those back laces into your strap. Drive the knee up. Timer goes. We're going to go right into the right side. Should be feeling that front leg, yeah? <laughs> if not, remember, next time you might need dumbbells for this move. Time. Woo! All right. Grab on the strap. Here we go. With the right hand now. Feet apart. Shoulders back and down. Go. We want to keep those hips squared. So have the feet wide. If you're more advanced, by all means, bring the feet in closer together. All right? You're going to work hard to keep those hips squared then. Right leg back lunge coming up. Time. Okay, so right leg in, or perhaps just a stationary lunge, but your right leg's back this time. All right, let's have the other hand on top, other one on the bottom. Lunge. Good. Press those laces in the back foot cradle. Time. All right, round two. Right arm. Whew. Left hand on the hip. Keeps you honest. Gives you that reminder to keep that left hip squared. Shoulders are back and down. Right now, they might start creeping up to those ear lobes. It happens, right? We get tired. We lose form. Good. Not you. You're going to pay attention. Yes. Good job. Time. Here we go. Right leg back. Good. Okay. Press in. Woo. Square yourself. Go. We got one more round to go. Then we'll grab a quick sip of water. And we're moving on. Time. Okay, this is it. Right arm. Whoop. Go. I've been staring at this one cobweb <laughs> the entire workout. It's driving me nuts. <sighs> Gonna have to talk to the girls that clean the gym. <laughs> this is a pretty big cobweb. <sighs> Actually, now that I look, I see a whole bunch. Oh, man. Don't look, right? Time. <laughs> Focus on the workout. Here we go. Right leg up. <laughs> All right. Arms out. Go. I've got a good friend who's terrified of spiders, like petrified. And uh, her husband travels a lot. So when she finds a spider in the house, she calls me and I got to get it out. I'm okay if they're a certain size, but when they get like... A little bigger than half my palm. <laughs> yeah. Then it's time to call in the professionals, which is my husband in this case. 
I can trap and release them time when they're a certain size, it's when they get bigger. And then when they move fast, oh gosh, nope. All right, grab a sip of water. And really, like they're not poisonous, they're more scared of me. What is it, huh? I don't know, it's a thing, isn't it? It is a thing. All right, here's the scoop, everybody. We're gonna get our feet in the straps, okay? Whew. So, what I want you to do is lengthen so that that hard handle, I don't have to lengthen mine, they're done. So that hard handle is lined up to the knees, okay? Yes? All right, now, I like the crisscross method of getting my feet in the straps because we're going to get into a plank position. Other people like bringing their toes to the outside and then under and then flipping. So you do whatever you want. Just get yourself down into a plank. Here's the scoop. We got three rounds. First is 10 push-ups. Second is 10 suspended crunches. If you don't know what a suspended crunch is, no worries, I'll talk you through it. Now with our push-ups, my push-ups are super weak, so I'm gonna stay on my knees. Otherwise, or you can go into full strap mode. All right, we got 10 of them, ready? Here we go, 10. Elbows are going to the back of your body, okay? Not splaying out to your sides. Head up, nine, eight. Chest coming as close to the ground as you can, bum in. Seven, six, five, four, three, whew, two, one. All right, on the forearms for me, I want you to come up into a plank. Press the feet into the straps. Now draw both knees all the way into the chest, all the way. One, good, nine more. Two, three, this is a suspended crunch. Four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. All right, round two. Back to push ups. So, again, you can be in a full plank, do the push up, or modified with me. Just keep the form crisp, okay? So, don't try to do full push up and then be all sloppy. Uh uh, not on my watch. All right, here we go. Ten, nine, eight. You know what? I'm going to let you in a little secret. I fucking hate push-ups. <laughs> we do them every workout because I'm trying to like them. Two more. One more. And I don't. Nope. 23 years I've been a trainer. Never liked them. Here we go. Suspended crunch. Go. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Whew. Oh. Okay, last set. Uh huh, I know. I don't want to do it either. <laughs> Uh huh. Yeah, I am the most motivating trainer on YouTube. Uh huh. Well, I am the most honest trainer on YouTube. <laughs> Here we go. Chest to the ground. Go, 10. Woo. One more. Whew. I seriously need to shake out my arms. How about you? Let me do these bloody suspended crunches. All right. Okay, let's get it over and done with. Right? Excellent. Plank. Go. Ten. Nine. Eight. Last three. Release. Woo! Good job. We did it. We are so awesome. <laughs> How awesome are we? We are gigantically awesome. See? Created a new word. That's how awesome we are. All right, face up now. So I want you to grab onto your foot straps with two fingers. Two fingers, okay? Listen to me, little grasshopper. This is the easiest way to get your heels in the strap. Lie down, knees in, straps come behind. 
both heels at the same time. See how easy that was? Uh-huh. You go to a TRX class, you're going to see all sorts of interesting ways to get a TRX. All right, hips up there. We got 30 seconds on the clocks. You got your hips up? Good. All right, now bring just your left knee in. Straighten. Now your right knee. Good. I call these running curls. So one at a time, pushing the heels into the straps so the straps aren't shifting either. That's key. Working into hamstrings on this group. Squeeze the booty. Work into the glutes. We got hips involved. All sorts of fun stuff. Breathe. Going to move into an ab exercise when the timer goes. Time. Keep your heels here for me. Hands light behind the ears. Bicycle crunch. So with the heels still on your straps, bring your knee into your chest. Lift and twist to that side. Then the other side. Good. Give me a good twist. Feel those abs. Time. All right. Here we go. Arms down to your side. Second set. All right. Running curls. Hip lift. Go. Flex those feet. Dig those heels into your straps. Equal amount of weight. Left and right leg. Good. Tighten up that booty. Now, if your hamstrings are cramping, you're like, forget it, PJ. This sucks. Then drop the bum and just dig your heels in the straps as hard as you can and perform the exercise, keeping the bum on the ground. But you got to dig those heels in, okay? Whew. They're on fire. Dime. All right. Bicycle crunch. Let's get those hands behind the head. Maybe cupping the head a bit, giving the neck some support. Draw one knee in, lift and twist, straighten the leg. Good. Pressing the heels into the strap still so we're not losing them. We're getting a little bit of activation in the lower part of the ab with that. And then twisting to get those waist muscles. Last round coming up. Time. All right, this is it. Last round there. Arms down by your side. Let's try palms up, okay, so we don't push with the hands. Here we go. Bum up and curl it one at a time. Now, I know you wouldn't push off with your hands. No, I know. You are super honest with your exercise. But another person on the YouTube channel might, so we'll just cue it for them. Nice and slow and controlled. Bicycle crunches coming up. Time. Woo, baby. All right, here we go. Last set here. I can still see that bloody cobweb. <laughs> here we go and curl, even in this position. Actually, what it almost is, it's almost full on dust bunny hanging on my wall. <laughs> It's beyond cobweb. <laughs> Hopefully you're feeling your abs. If not, tighten up the form. Try to lift a little higher. Twist a little harder. Push those heels in your straps. Done. All right. Come on up. We're going on to our last move. Want to work on the back of your arms and the front of your arms. So TRX at mid-length there. Okay, triceps and biceps coming up. So your hands are elevated, your hands are up. All right, chin is tucked in. We bend those elbows, bring in those handles right beside the ears. So that's key. We want to go through full range of motion. Second thing that is key is I want your bum to go with you. Okay, so you're not going to leave your bum in a different postal code. All right, your body's going as one full plank. Then we'll flip around and work biceps. All right, here we go. Set up time. Ready and lower. 
This is hands down the best exercise for your triceps. I love the TRX to work my tries. <sighs> Body like a plank. Time. All right, let's turn around. Okay, now we've got the same move to do, just now facing the TRX. Let's bring those elbows up. Curl the hands up towards the tops of the shoulders, curl the wrists in, and straighten completely. So go through the full range on this one. What we're doing here is keeping the elbows in a fixed position in front of us. So they're not coming towards our rib cage, and we're also not scooping up, okay? It's fixed, and just using those biceps. However, the beauty part when we work the TRX is you are working more than just the muscle you're feeling. Your body's working as a unit. Squeeze that tush, keep that body as a plank. Time. Second set. Yeah, I know. Good stuff, right? Hey, these are our last two moves, all right? So hang in there. Let's go down. So if you like the TRX as much as I do, <laughs> I've got quite a few workouts on the YouTube channel. So subscribe and then go check them out. And maybe check out the others, right? Sometimes you need to work dumbbells. Sometimes you're looking just for a body weight move. Sometimes you're even just looking for a yoga workout or a low impact. We got it all. And by we, I mean I. <laughs> <laughs> I am the videographer, editor, star, producer, director, dime, bicep girl. <laughs> One woman show. <laughs> Here we go. Ready, girl up. I've been a one-woman show for so long, I don't even know what I would do if I had another woman on the team or another person. Trust me, I would like to find out, though. <laughs> if you would like to work for free, call me. <laughs> Woo. All right, this is it. Last set. Triceps. Ready? And go. I don't know if you can hear it. My handles are squeaking. They're my handles, honest, not my elbow joints. <sighs> Dime. All right, last move. Elbows up, bum in, and curl. Give a little curl of the wrist too as those hands come closer towards your shoulders. Protect the wrist joint. Time. Whew. We did it. All right, let's do a little stretch here. I have a little kid standing on the outside of the window here staring at me. I don't know what he wants. <laughs> He's not my little kid. All right, here we go. Straps out, step forward, chest lifted. Actually, I don't see a parent around. <laughs> I hope he's not some random child. Switch legs in front, bring the arms straight up. I'm losing it out of camera. Maybe you can see it here now. Bring your body through. Oh, stretch into the shoulders. Hey, feels good. And release. Hey, thank you so much for joining me. If you want some longer stretch routines, which I recommend, then please head to the channel and go check them out. I've got stretches ranging from 10 minutes to 30 minutes. So, you did it. Leave a comment below, subscribe, let me know what you think, and we will see you next workout. Bye. Good job.